Hi everyone and welcome to today's webinar with the fantastically talented and wonderful Young Living Leader, Danae Cazola. With over 20 years of direct selling under her belt, Danae is a passionate about helping women understand how a little bit of self-care can bring great benefits, like looking good, feeling great and enjoying a dash of verve. Danae has embraced a non-toxic lifestyle and transformed not only her life, but her family's life too, and is on a mission to helping others kick the toxins. There's nothing more rewarding than helping others learn and grow. As Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And it's a weapon that Danae wields with enthusiasm. Danae is here today at Young Living with, for Australia and New Zealand to show and create a Young Living Christmas experience that your guests will love and how you can touch the lives of others long after the Christmas season has ended. Now, without further ado, please welcome the wonderful Danae Cazola. Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you, Priny, that sounds gorgeous. And thank you for introducing me. Um, I'm honored to get to do this today with you because Christmas selling is one of my most passionate uh, times of the year. And I love that I'm able to share with you what has helped me over the last 20 years. So are you ready? Are you ready to create a Christmas experience that your guests will love? So today I'm gonna to take you through my top tips that I think will help you take your business to the next level and get Young Living out there. So let's get started. So my journey. So for those that don't know, um, you know, what wakes you up every morning with excitement and purpose? And this is what wakes me up, is being able to do this journey with my family. And here you can see a photo of my husband and our beautiful twin daughters, which are about to turn 18, and our little puppy, Bart, who's a Shih Tzu, and we have a parrot. I couldn't get him in the photo for this. Um, he's a lorikeet. And, you know, like, I'm so grateful that two years ago, Two years ago, my life changed. And basically, you know, um, going through your own experience helps you take your journey and share it with others. So I won't go too much into that, but I know that I've had the pleasure of meeting a lot of you um, and we've all got this beautiful story to share. And basically mine was that two years ago, I was at a cross end in my life. My head and my heart weren't connected anymore. And I was very grateful. I was looking for... Um, extra supplements, extra energy, things that would help with our stress and our family and all those sorts of things. And I was very blessed that my beautiful best friend, Kim Ellis, um, got, started um, sending Ningxia all the way to me in Karatha. And, you know, after six months, she got sick of sending it to me and said, you better get it yourself. So, you know, that was, it was as simple as that. We started this beautiful journey as a family and we continue um, and in this month, am I our beautiful girls turn 18? So they actually be able to be, start their own journeys and their accounts, which is really exciting. So that's the next step of our journey. But that's not, you know, I know you've all got a journey out there. And um, the most important thing is that we share our stories. And that's what this journey is about. So let's get started. Um, because I want you all to know, um, you know, what, what you can do this time of the year. It's the exciting time of the year. What I love about Christmas, and especially in Australia and New Zealand, is that it is summer. And so we, you know, we don't have the white Christmas, but we do have the beach, we have the barbecues, we have that beautiful experiences um, that not many countries have around the world because we are in the Southern Hemisphere. So when I think about Christmas, it's, it's um, sun and outdoors and surf and beaching and, you know, sand between our toes and messy hair and all those sorts of things. It's very different to anywhere else in the world. So let's talk about how you can boost um, your business at Christmas time. Well, everyone wants to buy something. You know, they are willing to shop. They're willing to spend money. And the great thing is they're happy to talk. So the thing is, is that we are all looking, we're time poor and we want something that's hassle-free, which means that they have all got a problem 
and we have a solution to their problem. And their problem is that they're time poor, they want, you know, um, hassle free, they want a quick, easy solution, and they want it to be stress free. So why don't we offer something that is shop from your seat and not on your feet this month. So I'm going to show you um, what I've done over the last 20 years um, with my, you know, like sharing my experiences with everyone. So where to create your experience, your Christmas experience? Where do you start? Okay, so let's have a look. All right, open houses are the best fun ever. The reason is, is that because you can make them really convenient and you, people can come into your home because sometimes if they're really busy, they don't want to have people in their home. So I always offer open homes. So open homes can be happy hours on a Friday afternoon from four to six where they can drop in on the way home from work. It could be a Saturday morning open house where they're on their way to sports that they can drop in with their children um, and they can just do as they're passing through. You can actually have hostesses that can have open house. So all those friends that are great at entertaining, get them to have an open home for you. You know, you will find those beautiful extroverts out there that love entertaining. So that I would love to have that. So what are a few things that you can do? We can do themed events. So that can be something from um, a show and shop Christmas party, a Christmas launch. So, you know, get everyone excited. It could be a beauty and bubbles afternoon where you can do lots of things from showing your savvy and the skincare, the personal care products um, and offer some Ningxia spritzers and all those wonderful things. You can do Christmas make and takes. So that can be from um, teachers appreciation workshops. So you could run some DIY workshops. You could have mother and daughter workshops. You could have mums and bubs. You could have things from a pamper and ningsha Champers workshop, no alcohol, of course. Um, but I mean, you know, um, but you can just have that as a um, so I've just called it a, a pamper and ningsha champers workshop, so it sounds really nice anyway. You can have an annual young living home open event. So I've made that traditional for the last um, few years that I, you know, everyone used to get that build up hey, I'm having my end of year. I'm having a three-day home open. You can, you know, there is no time restrictions. Everyone has different. You could be, um, you know, from your own business, you could do it from there. You could do it in your home. You could do it at lunchtime. You could have a lunch and learn or you can have a shop and learn, something like that. You know, there's. I'm just giving you some of my ideas, but I know this will help create your own ideas. You could have a harmony and happiness home open. You could have a summer fun workshop. You could have a food fun and facials. I mean, I love food and I love um, having fun, as you know, and I love having a facial. So, you know, that is beautiful with our beautiful savvy and our skincare is demine. So, you know, shop from your seat Christmas event. So you can basically have everything set up and then they can just pop in and um, do some shopping, which is amazing. Who doesn't want to, who wants, I mean, you know how busy the shops are this time of the year. Who wants to go in all that traffic, and especially for you guys that live in the big cities. I have been to Newcastle with my beautiful friend, Kim Alice, on Christmas Eve shopping, and it was ridiculous, and the cost of the parking nearly killed me. So it, and I had to pay, by the way, um, and you know, they're little things, you know, so let's bring become a solution for people's problems. All right, so that's one very, very successful. So you just plan out what you're going to do, whether you're going to have one or two or three or ten. It could be little. Think about the people that you want to invite and see what works for them. So whether or not they are you know, mums that work from nine to five or they work in school hours or their friends um, and, you know, guys at the gym, that sort of stuff. It doesn't matter. Just work out what time because that will plant, that will determine how successful your home open is. So make sure that the people you're inviting, you have got the right planning in place, okay? So the next one is on the go selling. And this is something I've done for many, many years. And I love this idea because I've just ordered all the Christmas stock. 
um, because you can't sell or you can't buy a dress from an empty shop. And so the same philosophy comes when I do Christmas selling. You can't sell from an empty box. Okay, so what it's really nice, get yourself a nice box or a hamper or an on-the-go basket and do up a, um, a selection of your favourite Christmas products. So that could be anything from the, um, the summer pack with the sunscreen and just look, I've just put little ribbons on and little bells on there. Um, you know, this month we get the beautiful stress away balls or you can order them, um, the stress uh, bath bombs and I've just popped them individually so basically I create this basket and in there I put a ninja bottle so I always take our best sellers I wish I had the Christmas stuff but it's on its way um, and I put a whole selection of different things in my basket my hamper and on my go of course our best seller the thieves and just a whole selection of little Whoops, I just lost the bow. There you go. <laughs> um, just sorry, I hope you can see that. Yeah, so just a whole different selection of what the Christmas products in there. I also put in their um, catalogs. I also put in their price list and I put in order forms, which are our um, central rewards forms. So that people, so what, I, what you can do, I also put a starter kit in there and a diffuser. The, the reason is I take it everywhere and I will book in some lunch and learns where I, you could take it to work, you could take this box or your stylish hamper to an event, um, you know, say you're getting together with some people, you always have it with you because the best thing about young living is that young living fits into your lifestyle. You don't have to have extra time out in your business. So you want it to be on the go. So this is one of my hampers. I'm just going to show you. So this is just a, oops. So this is one of my hampers so you can see. So I've just got some little spray bottles there and I've just got all the books in there as well. So I've got a collection of books. There we go. And your product guides, this is the best tool um, that you can have. It is amazing. It has everything in there that you need to learn. Um, and I have, uh, of course, I have the starter kit in there as well. And I, like I said, a diffuser. So their possibilities are endless. And basically you can take them, like I said, to businesses, gyms, work, um, school, anyone that needs to buy. And to be honest, there is no one on this planet that doesn't need to buy anything. Sorry, if I rephrase that again. It, there's no one on this planet that there is something that they love in that Christmas catalogue because there's something for everyone, which is beautiful. All right. So also too, you can offer online events. So these could be Christmas themed events. So about the ones I've just talked about before, they were like your Christmas launch. So different ideas of what people can do for Christmas shopping. So you could make basically, you know, work out an event, create it, send out invites are uh, vital to any event. Facebook lives and you can do Zoom calls. So you can actually do a one-on-one -on -one personalized shopping with somebody if you want. You can actually have a couple of people together. You can have a group of people. So don't just narrow yourself to, you know, one or two people a week. Broaden and deep the width of your business. Just think about and write down every single person that you know needs to go shopping this Christmas. And it's not just shopping. Remember, we have necessities and essentials, sorry, essentials that are great for summer, remember? So we're not just talking about Christmas. We're going to talk through into January, February, and March when people need to be using their Young Living products in this beautiful summer of ours. Okay, another thing I love to do is phoning people. And the girls say to me, Danae, all the time, you know, I've sent out text messages and I've sent out Facebook messages and all those sorts of things. But to me, they're not personal. They're great for a way of um, getting communication out and emailing and all those sorts of things. But there is nothing better than A, the power in your voice and secondly, snail mail because it is personalised and it makes that person feel important. So send out wish lists to current members and new members. So your new members, let them know 
you know, that you care. Let them know if they've just come in in the next few weeks or the next four weeks. Get them up to speed. Let them know how they too can get out there and share their young living with others, okay? And that is either them getting themselves new members, helping them teach their members how to do Christmas shopping and etc. etc. Okay? Great other things to send out are Christmas catalogs. Invest in some hard copies and actually do those and send those out and put a little Christmas card in there if you wanted to. Um, also too, price lists are amazing. I love the price list because I also use the price list as a shopping list. So um, I, when I get together with my um, members or new prospective members, I actually use a highlighter and I will go through, as we're talking about different products that I recommend or, you know, when we're doing an intro or anything like that, so that they actually keep one of these as a hard copy and they are also creating their wish lists, but more importantly, their shopping lists. Because what we are doing is we're teaching people to transfer what they would normally buy from supermarkets and, you know, you know nasty chemicals out there to you know, um, products that are low tox and um, great for the family. So, and samples. Oh, my God, I love sending out samples. So um, anything, each month I decide uh, what I'm going to promote. So this month I love the beautiful new um, Australian Kirania um, oil. So I'll put little samples of that on a cotton ball and I will pop that out with every mail out, with every um, catalogue or Christmas catalogue or anything that goes out. You can also get some little sample jars and I put sunscreen because who in Australia does not need to be using sunscreen? This is SPF 50 and it's amazing. So I highly recommend you start getting that out to everyone as well. You can tell I, I'm so excited about these things. Okay, so phone and mail. Snail mail, if you're not doing that and you are not picking up that telephone, there is power in your voice. Please, I know sometimes it's scary, but we need to step out of our comfort zone. And, you know, there's nothing better than having someone on the other end of the phone. You all know how frustrated you get when you ring up other companies out there and they're all voice animated and you're like, oh my God, I wish someone would just pick up the other end of that phone and I could hear a voice. So um, there is definitely power in the phone. Secret Santa, this is fun. You know, I always love fun things and it's about creating fun activities in your team. So get everyone to participate and join in. So what you can do is you can have um, your uh, members appreciation um, get together at the end of the year and they can all um, make a, a Secret Santa gift. I also to make up a whole heap of different gifts and you can just do them up in these gorgeous, I just get these little pillow boxes, I just pick them up, they're just craft ones, that sort of stuff. And you can have a whole selection of, you know, um, secret Santa gifts available for your customers and clients to um, purchase. So they could be $25 value if you wanted, but they don't even know what they're buying. But you know what, they will trust whatever you recommend. So it doesn't really matter. Um, just, you know, you could have a whole selection of different things. I also have, you know, I do lots of other different things in there. So books and that. So yeah, so grab that. You can do the cookbook this year, um, which is amazing. Our Young Living Flip Cookbook. I love that. There's lots of things. So um, yeah, Secret Santas, you know, gift wrap everything for them. And that's another way too that you can get more people. All right. So one customer can turn into five or more. So whenever you're doing an event, what I strongly recommend is that you want to work smarter and not harder. You want to encourage your members to bring new guests. Predominantly, this Christmas is not just about getting sales. It is about getting more product to more people. And, you know, we are so grateful in Young Living that we get rewarded for bringing new people in. So, you know encourage your members to bring, you know, 
one, two, three, four, five to every event that you're creating because you are getting a broader audience and that's what you want, okay? And they get excited because new people are enthusiastic. They're full of excitement. They're like, oh, what do we need to do? Where do we go? How can we get this out to people? I'll bring some more friends. It's the excitement and enthusiasm in those new people that bring excitement and enthusiasm into your tribe and your team. So enthusiasm is everything. So um, yeah, like I said, make sure that you bring along, get them to bring guests. And you know, you can have some little tickets. Anyone that brings a guest um, gets a door prize or goes in the draw to win a door prize. So you know, reward those that are, are out there hustling and helping get new people and bringing them to uh, see our Young Living products. Okay, so make it fun. So extra value. Now this one's a big step and a um, big step, sorry, but this is a big one for me because I love that extra mile service. And the reason why I say that is that I think that, you know, when you can offer something for extra for nothing, that means that you are giving. You have to give to grow. So one of the things I always have done for many, many years is offer free wrapping. And I love that. And I, 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 and I love doing it, as you can tell. Um, but I want you guys to get creative, men, women, and get the kids. And this is something that you can get the teenagers or the young ones to do and get them to do the Christmas wrapping. So what I've done this year is that I've just come up with some recycling for you. Um, we, so what I've done here, this is, if you can guess, the beautiful flakes, the einkorn flake boxes. And what I have done, because we are about to get a new product guide, as you guys know, and we do get one or two a year. So what I've done is I don't want my product guides to go waste because they are such a beautiful uh, book. So if you have any leftovers... What I've done is I've cut out certain pages and I've made them as borders. So I've just made them and all I've done is used, recycled the uh, packaging that comes in our, in, some of those have just happened in the West. So um, just recycle any packaging that you guys get. And I've just got some twine and thing and I just recycle our packaging. So anything that comes. I've also used... And that's in there. I've just made Christmas crackers. I hope you guys can see that. So I've just recycled our packaging and made Christmas crackers. And in there has got the gorgeous oils in there. And I also, for books and all those sorts of things, I have just used a page of our mission in our product guide. And I have just... How beautiful is that? So what I encourage you to do this year is to not spend money on wrapping paper. I want you to get creative. What you can do is offer a gold coin wrapping and donate it to the Gary Young Foundation because I thought that would be such... And instead of paying for wrapping paper this year, invest that into your Young Living business. So, you know, we spend a lot of money on cards, but get creative. Get the kids to help you make things. Instead of getting a gift card, get the kids to write on, you know, those sorts of things. And let's create a beautiful, recyclable Christmas wrapping this year. And instead of buying and spending the money on that, which just goes to landfill, let's Put that back into your young living business and buy something and give that away okay so that's just a couple of little things i also recycle all my boxes my um like i said my product guys and offer a delivery to the door so what you can do is if you've got people that live around town um you can actually offer to do the gift wrapping and the delivery and have it dropped off. So set a date for them as well. So that's just a couple of other ideas that I do as well that I wanted to share with you. So how to turn Christmas shoppers into young living lovers. So introducing them to other products. So what we want to do is we want to think outside the square. We want to, we want to expand our business wider and deeper, which means that you don't just want your one member to be using three products. What I encourage you to do this year is get them to test, try and experience other products in our 
range. So not only just the Christmas range, you want everyone testing, trialing sunscreen. You want everyone trying the new beautiful Karanya oil, the Australian Karanya. It, is, it means a rainbow. It's beautiful just in its own. And it's, you know, all these beautiful plants come from Australia. So that is such a special thing. So you want everyone to try that. And they want to use it because it is an absolutely beautiful oil. Also, too, you want everyone trying Ningxia. Now, the main things that happen at this time of the year is that we are stressed and we need energy. And, you know, without Ningxia being my first love and the product that got me on the journey, um, everyone should be gifted a bottle of, you know, instead of going to buy alcohol this year, create that gift giving of a bottle of red but a Ningxia red, how beautiful is that? So you can do something like that. And samples, so at your events, make sure, you know, if you've got someone that's really good in the culinary department, get them to make some oily infused uh, bliss balls or, or, you know, dips and those sorts of things. The people that are great at making DIY products, get them to come. So basically you, you're showcasing everything. So remember, we got everything from newborn babies to our beautiful grandmothers at a matured age so we've got something for everyone okay so when when are you going to do this so you're going to get off this webinar and you're going to fill your diary so what you're going to do if you don't plan your work you can't work your plan so fill your diary with events so what you want to do is get very good at when you have an event to already have bookings for the next event, okay? Because you get all these people excited. They come to an event of yours and then they're like, what's next, what's next? Where are we gonna meet again? When am I gonna see you? Are we gonna do this? You know what I mean? So get really savvy in filling up your diary. What I want you to do is think way past Christmas. I want you to think about January, February, March because what happens is, in Australia, we are notorious for having holidays. Um, since I'm about to pack my suitcase and leave the country, but um, you know we got to plan these things. So what happens is in January we like to take a holiday, but it has to go for six weeks. So what I encourage you to do is choose your back to work day. So the day that you're going to finish in December. And then the day you're going to get back and open your business in January. So that could be the second, the third, the fourth. And already have bookings in there. So what I mean by that is that when you are going through all your Christmas and someone buys, say, a Savvy Starter Kit or they buy a Savvy uh, Makeup Brush Set for their daughters and that sort of stuff. So... Have a savvy start, have a savvy party, have a makeup party. You can call it a beach to the barbecue party where they can just come in, show them how to do some quick five minute looks um, and get started like that. You could have um, a jump into January. Everyone goes on a, on a, everyone loves to lose weight on the first. So, you know, um, have it, have that, you know, uh, just some, a get together where people can be educated and come along and basically you want to just have a gathering of people so it doesn't matter what you do have a mother and daughter workshop have a, a pampering um, party on a in the January the great thing about January is, is people are always mixing with different family and friends so it is a great time for them to connect with others and also if you've got events in place they will bring different people that they haven't been in contact for a while that will start to, you know, go, oh, I really love that. I've been drinking this Ningxia red stuff all Christmas at my sister's house. I really want to get started. So that is the reason why it's important for you to follow through from Christmas into January, February and March, okay? Book them into the next year's YL United event. So we have them all around the country and all around the world. So make sure that you have the date for January, which I can't think of the top of my head, um, and have them already bought. Start talking about that. Hey, I can't wait to see you. I heard your auntie's got to be here. Why don't you bring her along to our next event? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now book them in for your next make and take. There's two things I believe and we do that when we teach our members is one is that we help them um, 
along the journey and, and help educate the products, okay? But we also have a lot of people in our oily tribe that love making things. And that's a wonderful thing to do. So, you know, make sure you, if you're not good at that part of things, you probably have someone in your team or your tribe that is very good at making takes, get them to do it. So we all swap around and we've all got different magic. We're all good at different things. One of them's really good in culinary. One's really good at making personal care products. So we just all swap around. So what when you're doing these events as well for Christmas, a great idea is if you... Um, tee up with your sister, oily sister, or a cross line, or someone you work really closely together, and you know you, you get together, and together you've got something different to bring to the table. So the next workshop event, oily meeting or webinar, Young Living, we are they are just our executive team here in Australia have done an amazing job of putting all these webinars together, and you know it is in our duty to help promote them to our people and our members. So please help register them to all these webinars that these beautiful leaders around the country and outside of the country are putting together for you so that you can help educate your people. So, you know, we love making them. Okay, follow up. Okay, the fortune is in the follow up. So you stress less. Now the reason is you want to create a system and you want to follow it. It all happens at when you give that sample out. So say for example, you, you drop out a catalogue with a sachet of Ningxia and a price guide um, and a price list and you get them to try that. What you want to do is already talk to him or her and say to them, is it okay in two days if I give you a call and I can get some feedback of what you think of that product. And they'll go, yeah, that's great. So you've already prepared them and you've taken the fear away about picking up the telephone and calling them, okay? So make that important that everything that goes out, you make sure you get their details so that you can follow up. What you want to do is try and allocate a time in your diary to do this and do it weekly. The reason being is that Sometimes we go, oh, look, it's, say it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, I'm going to ring um, so-and-so, so-and-so, and so-and-so. So you pick up the telephone and you go and call her. Well, without second thought, you're like, oh, God, she's at work. Well, no, she's probably not going to pick that phone up. So you know what? That is not going to work. So what you want to do is allocate a time in your week where it is a great time to ring your people. I have done mine from five to eight on a Sunday night because it has always been a time where people are at home getting their kids together, um, planning for the week and it's always worked for me. It might not work for you, depends on your clientele and the people that you're following up with. Um, but Sunday nights are my follow-up calls. So, and, I, and it's always worked for me and, and but they know I'm gonna call. So don't think that, you're just gonna call up random. You need to prep them and say, hey, I do my follow-up calls on a Sunday night. Um, expect my call, is that a good time? And she'll go, yeah, yeah, call me after seven. Great, write it in your diary, do that. So when you're giving your samples or your products to try or whatever it is, or you've just started your new member on a journey and you wanna follow her up, please already allocate some time that the two of you are going to connect, okay? What works for both of you? So that's very important. How would they prefer to be contacted? So there's lots of different ways. Some people are really good on the telephone. Some people, the new generation, don't like to answer the phone. And I've got a couple of daughters at home. Um, the other thing is texting. I've got some girls that are just, I can get them five seconds in text and they text me all the time. They only communicate to me on text. I have others that only communicate on email because they're at work, they've got time at work and that works for them. So I email them, they email me. The other thing is Facebook Messenger. 
that is great because they know when I'm online and they're usually online themselves. Um, that is a great, they only contact. So please, when you're doing and collecting information from these new members or your current members, just ask them, what is a great, you know, this year I really want to get better at following up and I, I want to just make, get some systems that are working for our team. Um, what do you prefer? Email, phone, text or Facebook Messenger, okay? Um, and that's just a couple of tips that you can help as you're collecting information this year. So the definite, the fortune is a follow-up because otherwise you're gonna wonder, oh, did she like that? Oh, I wonder why she hasn't got back to me. Oh my God, do you know that 95% never got started in this business because nobody asked, okay? So that's really important. Okay, and that brings us to the end. Oh my God, so basically, I hope that everything that I have just shared with you is something that will take you on the next part of your journey. So, you know, there was a lot, we've got a great checklist coming out for you, for those who got um, a chance to watch this webinar. Um, and I just wish you a super, super successful business slash Christmas slash summer um, next three months because it is very exciting. We have the most beautiful products in the world and, um, you know, that those looks on those face on Christmas Day are going to be so worth it. But not only that, you're changing lives. So there we go. Thank you for um, listening to me and I hope that you enjoyed it. Miss Bryony. Oh, thank you so much, Danae. How fantastic was that? So much to learn. So many things to take away from that. And yes, you'll have the checklist coming as well. So in a couple of days' time, you'll all get the checklist come through. But so many things to learn and very environmental today as well. I love the recycling of the packaging. It's a great idea with the product guides and the price list. So it's definitely on my list to do this Christmas. So thank you so much. And uh, enjoy your evening, everyone. Thank you.